Break out. Give me a break. No. There's something wrong if it broke already. I'm a little tilted now. Due east, correct, my friend? Pretty much. So look at this. East is my little fancy dancy. That way. All right. All right. You follow the compass, I'll follow the trail. <laughs> so you get there first. I think I'll stick with the trail. All right. That's just in case I get lost. Off. Yeah. <laughs> Sticking with the checklist. What's that? Oh, the boots? Yeah. Oh, watch the bicycle. Stop, Nick. Carl, stop. Carl, will stop for you. The bike won't. Thank you. Okay, thank you. That third cup of coffee does, Jerry. <laughs> Give credit where credit's due. See this? Shop, ready to go. I will say in the mornings it's like, oh, it's Most of my work is going to be new. Yeah. Yeah. Enough trails around. It's just, There's not enough good trails around here. Too many young kids that don't pay attention to when they're driving. They're on their phones. Yep. They're, uh, you know, everything else is a distraction. I can't tell you how many four ways to You know, the bike culture, too. Like, when, when I was young, it was drilled. They had police officers would come to the school and they would teach these bike safety classes. And it'd be like, the thing they would drill is bikes follow the same rules of the road as the cars. Yep. If there's a stop sign, you stop. Yep. If there's a traffic light, you observe it. Yep. You drive on the right side of the road, you ride with the traffic. Nobody does that around here. Nope. 100%. I, it's like, I mean, I, maybe they don't teach that in they Massachusetts, don't. 
it, it, it's, it boggles my mind. You see people riding down 138 on the wrong side of the street. I'm taking a left here. Sure. Good morning. I, I kind of felt like you guys were going to go faster than us. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there you go. We're like three hours past coffee. Enjoy. You too. That's a, that is a lot of calories, but you're burning it today. Yeah. yeah. Christiana will be happy if Chem can figure out how to, to cut the bagel and put it in the toaster for her. Yeah. She seems like she's like, you're she a it's, typical geek. She's like really technically smart. There's like certain things that she's just like, you know, it's like not a Chinese thing. So she just doesn't deal with it. She never makes coffee. Really? Nope. She never would toast a bagel. She generally won't put anything in the toaster in general. She's like... Yeah. No, she's come a long way. It's amazing some of the things that come out of her now. It's just like, like, I remember when we first started going to the picnic and she had the, the lobster and she was like insulted at the way that everybody ate the lobster here. Really? Yeah, the whole like, you know, cracking the shell and um, dipping it in the butter and She's like, oh, she goes, I don't like the taste of it in the butter. And she complained about the corn that they served with it. And um, She's like, you know, in China, we would take the lobster meat out of the shell and we would cook it in rice porridge. And Which, that was kind of our tradition, is we would always get the lobsters and bring them home from the picnic and she would make lobster congee. And it's really good. But this year I said, let's get... Let's go up and get a lobster and have it here and enjoy it. I, I'd, I'd like to just sit and eat a lobster there, fresh, you know, right when, when it's cooked. Christiana's there, we'll get one for her. Then we'll go back and get the seconds. So we have two lobsters we eat here, four we bring home for, for the kanji, so. After the whole thing was over, she's like, I just enjoyed it so much, <laughs> dipping that lobster in that butter and eating it with the corn. She's like, let's do that again at home. She's like, that was so good. I'm like, what? Who is this person? Who are you? It's so funny. But part of it is just opening your mind to it sometimes, you know? It's like... Yeah. Ooh, little frog. Or toad, I don't know. Oh yeah, those people blew us away. They're gone, they're like way up. Well, I bet you there's not that many of, of all these people we're passing. How many of them you think are big doggers? Oh, yeah. You know? If any. Yeah.
10,000, baby. How you feeling? Good. No more twinges? Yeah. That's the tough thing about stopping, you get out of your rhythm a bit. Yeah. Um, juice, yeah, lemonade sometimes, again, sugar. I guess if it's real lemonade, yeah. I can do that. Huh. You think about it, it's like... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's tough when you go out, because a lot of them, the drinks are super sugary. Yeah. yeah. Right. I just drink the water. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure. The same as a regular beer, probably. You know what? Some of them are darn good. Yeah. Boy, it's been a long time since I've had them, but... So I don't know if I could give you good advice, but... Um, yeah, I remember. Some of them were very, very light, like drinking a Coors Light. But there were other ones that actually tasted halfway decent.
I don't know, I kind of lost interest in them. I figure if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna drive and not indulge, I might as well skip the carbohydrates. Well, that's true. You know? Water. Yeah, just drink the water. I hear you. Well, it's part of your cleanse. You make it work. No. Although that protein bar feels like a pit in my stomach. Yeah. I should have brought a banana. Those are the best. Well, man. Yeah. Potassium. I was thinking about bringing some blueberries, but I figured they probably wouldn't travel well in this heat, so yeah. I figured I did those at home. Thank Morning. You. I can't believe it's almost 10 already. Yeah. To go? Yeah. I'm thinking two hours. Two? Yeah. I, I don't think we're, uh, I don't think we're on a four and a half hour pace today. Yeah, we're not, we're not getting a trophy. like the guy that finishes the marathon three days after it starts. <laughs> I hope I'm not on the trail the day this tree decides to give out. this little stretch here.
Yeah, yeah, this is a little, uh, this is a stretch you just got to take your time on. Slow and steady. <laughs> like that. Good morning, how's it going? Fine yourself. Good, thanks. A little humid, but not too bad. Yeah, yeah. it's heating up. Yeah. Should have got an earlier start, but so be it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> best intentions, right? Yeah. Have a good one. Oh yeah, dude, we will be. Does yeah. Exactly. Ten thousand six ninety two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think last time last time I did it I was at nineteen when I got to the wow. to the parking lot. Which tells you stepwise. We got a ways to go. Yeah. If if that turns out to be the case today, I mean, I don't know. But uh it, Right, yeah. I you know, I think it goes by a lot quicker because you're not climbing. It's just covering some distance. Funny thing is, you kind of get in the groove of, you know, just kind of that, you know, oh, all right, I'm just doing steps, and you're going, and you're going, and you're going. Then all of a sudden, you get to one of those hills at the end there, and you're like, bastard. Because I started, I started seriously, my gas tank was seriously low at the end of the last hike, yeah. the last time I did it. We got uh, Buck Hill and Chickatabit. Those are the two big ones. We're doing, we're going up Buck now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're starting to. Yeah. I'm just going to save mine until we get up there and then indulge. Okay, I filled up mine at the uh, thing there. I didn't have that much, though. I think mine was just a one liter bottle or 1.5, so I, uh, I was like already halfway through it. I was like, yeah, I better top this, top this puppy off.
Morning. Good morning. 